Hi hello everyone welcome to Tiki Buzzer today we are going to see how to reverse a number in C sharp first of all we will discuss the logic for this program we will assume a number say 1 2 3 4 and the reverse of the number will be 4 3 2 1 as of now we have understood the requirement now the question arises is how to achieve it for this we need to remember if we divide a number by 10 then the number we get will be the last number which means if we divide 1 2 3 4 with 10 then the remainder will be 4 and we get the quotient as 1 2 3 now again if we divide the quotient value with 10 the remainder will be 3 and the quotient will be 1 2 and again if I divide the quotient value with 10 the remainder will be 2 and I get the quotient value as 1 now again if I divide quotient value with 10 I get the remainder as 1 and the quotient will be 0 if we look into the reminders at first we got 4 then 3 then 2 and then 1 we got the reverse of a number 1 2 3 4 as 4 3 2 1 i hope everyone understood the logic part now we will look into the program i have already opened a solution for you now firstly i will create a variable to store the value so we will write int num equals to 1 2 3 4 as we need to store the value of reverse we will create another variable say int result and we will initialize it with 0 now we need to write the logic part as we know to reverse a number we need to divide number by 10 we will write num percentage 10 we need to store the value somewhere so we need to write int rem and we will assign it here rem equals to number percentage 10 by doing this the result will be stored in variable rem the next step will be we need to store the reminder value we will store it in the variable result result equals to result plus reminder the next step will be finding the quotient value why we need to find the quotient value because we need to divide the quotient value by 10 to get the remainder so we will write num equals to num by 10 finally we need to repeat this we will use looping statements here we use while loop the syntax of while loop is while condition and then braces the condition here is num not equals to 0 and then we will cut and paste these three statements below upside now if we check the condition 1 2 3 4 is not equals to 0 it will go into the loop 1 2 3 4 percent is 10 equal equals to 4 0 plus 4 equals to 4 1 2 3 4 by 10 equals to 1 2 3 again we will run the loop number not equals to 0 it's true 1 2 3 percent is 10 equals to 3 4 plus 3 equals to 7 here the result will become different we need to concatenate 4 with 3 to achieve this we will multiply it by 10 that is result equals to result into 10 plus reminder if we check 4 into 10 plus 3 equals to 43 we have achieved it then num 123 by 10 equals to 12 if we again check the condition 12 is not equals to 0 12 percent 10 equals to 2 and then result will become 432 number 12 by 10 equals to 1 again check the condition 1 is not equals to 0 and then 1 percentage 10 equals to 1 
result will become 4, 3, 2, 1, 1 by 10 equals to 0. Again, if we check the condition, it will become false. So, it will come out of the loop. Then again, we need to print the result. So, we write console.write line result and console.read line. After this, we will save the solution and build the solution to check is there any errors or not. As the build is succeeded, we will debug. We got the output. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.